Hey everyone, today I'm coming to you with a review on the brand new Star Wars Black Series Obi-Wan Kenobi One Jack. Now this is a Walmart exclusive. I paid, a, well I got it in a bundle with the Purge Trooper and a local classified for around $60 Canadian, but they do retail for about $40 each. Very steep for a reuse figure of this caliber, but without further ado, let's get into One JAC or One Jack's review. As the figure, I as always would like to start off with the packaging. He is number eight in the uh, Galaxy packaging for Obi-Wan Kenobi. I didn't mention, but the Purge Trooper is number seven. I didn't mention that in his review. But you can see that he is to the left. He ha or on his left, he has the Purge Trooper. And on his right is the Grand Inquisitor. I can't wait for him. He's going to be so sick. But the box, you know, standard Galaxy packaging. There you can see one Jack. I love the color they chose for Obi-Wan Kenobi, though. You can see one Jack on the back. Obi-Wan Kenobi is set years after the dramatic events over Star Wars Rings of the Sith. Where oh, Kenobi faced the corruption of his friend and Jedi apprentice, Anakin Skywalker turned Sith Lord Darth Vader. I read that bio so many times. It's the same for all the Kenobi figures. So I kind of wish they would have maybe changed that to something different, especially for him. I kind of want to know something about him, especially because this is kind of like the only reference we actually have for his design. But uh, yeah, I guess let's put this to the side now Bloop, and get into his review. Now, he is only included with two blasters, but they are similar in sculpts, except kind of just reversed. You can see that, or you can see what I mean by that. He has the this the thing on the side <laughs> i don't know too much about guns so don't get mad at me but you know you get my point they are basically the same kind of guns i actually like these a lot you could use them for other black series figures as well they are new sculpts love the color they're molded in then the figure itself is uh pretty small i don't want to say simple but simple in the sense that it is basically all reuse it is all reuse of course of forlom from empire strikes back now, the new on this figure is very, very small, but I'll point it out first. He does have this bandolier, like Chewbacca, which is very interesting, kind of a cool thing to add. The arm on this side is the same. The head sculpt appears to be... Yeah, it appears to be exactly the same, I believe. Yep, or if not, very similar. And then this side has something interesting. It has this... I want to say like a thermal detonator or, you know, one Jack's uh, gas cap, how he gets fueled up. But I, 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 I don't know what it is, but I do want to give Hasbro props because we don't know a lot about this character's design. And they did go out of their way to include that on a Walmart exclusive, which, you know, on paper should be complete reuse. So, you know, good that they got that little detail that I actually am quite a fan of. And then he does have his holsters, which are new sculpts that are, I believe, just add-ons to the legs. Yep, yeah, they're just add-ons. And then the guns do just simply port in. I guess it goes on this side. But what I did notice is this side is easy to get the gun in. This side, however, kind of came out of the box warped. Not a too big of a deal because you still can get the gun in there. But I might need to leave that in there for a couple days or weeks so it, you know stretches out but i do see that it is definitely warped but you do get only one trigger hand which i really wish we would have that would have honestly made this figure a very good reuse if they would have just given him another trigger finger because i feel like he really needs it <laughs> it doesn't hold the gun well with this this hand but the rest of the figure is like i mentioned the same sculpt as forlum however i do actually prefer the color they went with on one jack even though this is accurate and this is you know the og grail forlom bounty hunter or you know zuckus before we actually got the right name i actually do prefer most aspects of this figure more than this guy something about it the head sculpt does seem to be translucent or transparent it's very well sculpted like, the whole sculpt and design of this figure, like, nothing to bash on it is very good. They did a, like, this is a great sculpt, great paint, phenomenal job, honestly. But, you know, the only thing that's holding it back is this is a very, very, very irrelevant character in the Kenobi show and is only in it for one episode for maybe five, ten seconds, and then I think he dies. Uh, that's how well I know the character. I don't even remember if he got shot or not. 
uh, but it does actually, I guess, make sense that they did go with this because the Walmart exclusives, what they usually do is they'll make the mainline waves and spread out the new sculpted characters in them. And then we get four characters. It's throughout the last three years, it's been like this. We got the Clone Wars wave with like the Ahsoka clone. Last year, we got the Bad Batch wave with Rampart and the Shock Trooper. And this year, they did it in an interesting way because they did two Walmart exclusives and they did two Target exclusives for Kenobi. But the reason they did that is because we also have the Andor figures coming up and they did two Walmarts and two Targets with that one. So a uh, very interesting way that they went about it. Actually impressed with Hasbro on that part, but I don't really actually have too much more to say about the figure itself. He does have a lot more detail on his wires than uh, for Lom. But overall, I think I actually do prefer this figure. I love, I obviously, this is going on the Kenobi shelf. This is going to Empire Strikes Back. But, like, I think I prefer this design. Something about it is just so unique. The bandolier on a droid. I mean, I guess we got that in Rise of Skywalker. But, I don't know. There's some kind of charm to this figure that I was not expecting. But without further ado, I guess let's get into his articulation. So oh, don't get your hopes up for the articulation. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not great. The head goes up that much, down that much, side, side, full 360. So that's the movement you get with that. Arms go out that much. They go full 360 with the shoulder, which also moves with it. The shoulder pad, I mean. Arms go out that much. There is a bicep swivel. The elbows don't go in that much, but I actually am grateful that they go in a little bit, even if it doesn't really even matter, because if they go in, they're going to go back out. <laughs> Um, it's better than not having anything at all, I guess, but if you do want really good articulation, you can actually pop that out, and he does have way better articulation than he would normally with that ported in, but that does obviously look weird. But that's interesting how they did it. It's, you know, slides back and forth. Cool, cool, cool design for a action figure, and then this is obviously going to be impossible to get back in. Nope. Okay, so we got it back in, and then this hand is going full 360 and on a horizontal hinge, which is great, you know, and then this is on the vertical hinge, which we wanted on both sides, but we only got one, which is okay because I'm used to Hasbro and I know what they do. Uh, but that is that. The ab crunch does not even go up for that much back, side, side. That's the movement you get with the figure. So not terrible for a droid. For a droid! <laughs> I feel bad saying that. I'm being droidist. The legs kick forward that much. Back, not at all. He does the splits that much. Upper thigh cut. Gun kind of moves with it. And then the ankles go in that much. There isn't any rotation. They kind of go forward. This also kind of rotates around. I used to pretend that this was like a gun. So he would just, or C-3PO would just walk up and this would shoot. <laughs> but uh, good old days. And then the ankles go up down and of course ankle rocker pivot but that is all the articulation for one jag one jag that's gonna be my new channel name guys i just leaked it one jag it's inspired off this walmart exclusive one jack ha 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 let's get on to his comparisons <laughs> here we have some figures for comparison and scale here we have the forlom which is essentially the same figure and here we have reva who essentially hired one jack uh, and then we also have his fellow wave mate, the Purge Trooper, which is on kind of a normal clone body. Here we have the Dark Trooper, the new deluxe Dark Trooper. Here we have another Kenobi figure. Here we have the fifth brother, Inquisitor. And of course, we got to do Vader. And then I guess we'll do a Storm Trooper. That actually looks pretty good. And then here we have just a normal kind of clone. Well, not a normal clone, it's a Shock Trooper, but you get my point. And that's, I think, all the comparisons I have. Oh, no, I did want to do him, as always. He ends up being a comparison droid-related figure. But this is a very similar figure to C-3PO, if you couldn't tell. So just keep that in mind if you didn't know that. But let's get on to my final thoughts, I guess. Pow. So my final thoughts on this one Jack figure is I'm very, very confused at what I think about this figure. Because on one hand... As always, I like basing figures off of their design. I don't care if they're irrelevant or not. We look at the design in the show and we look at the figure. If they do a good job on the figure, then that's a good figure. I usually do that. But I don't think I can necessarily say that about this figure because I think this is a very cheap, obvious reuse for Hasbro. Whereas the Dark Trooper obviously had a lot more new. The only real new things on this figure is the holsters, the bandolier, guns, and that one little thing. And other than that, it's the same figure. 
And I don't really think you need this. I don't think this is a figure that you need in the collection. I don't even think you necessarily need four Lom because if you if if you don't collect all the bounty hunters, then there's not really a point in having him anyway. But this figure is kind of just even more irrelevant and obscure than uh, four Lom, which was already obscure to begin with. So I don't know necessarily what to say, but I think I'm gonna give him like a. Seven out of ten. It's not a bad figure. I'm. It's not a bad figure at all. I think I actually prefer this. I think to the Forlom, just the color and the design, like I mentioned in the video. But uh, at the price point of a, like forty Canadian dollars, thirty-ish American, I can't recommend this to you. I think there's way better ways to spend your money. Obviously, if you're a psychopath who wants all the boxes like moi, then you're gonna need to buy this guy. But other than that, I think this is a easy pass in my opinion for you. But I do still think it is a good figure nonetheless, just an obvious kind of cash grab reuse. But it's good to also get these kind of more obscure characters into newer show lines because at the same time, this is kind of what Star Wars is. It's all obscure alien bounty hunter kind of characters. So just every little obscure character we get is in more flushed out, you know, shelf. So you can't really be too mad at this, but I do think it was an obvious cash grab like I mentioned However, like I said, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. But I do want to now pass it off to you guys in the comments below. Let me know what you think of the one jack in the comments below. Definitely want to hear what you guys think about this. Was this a good figure? Is it just an obvious reuse? Or is it an obvious reuse that is a good figure or a bad figure? Just, you know, tell me what you think in the comments below. As always, I have been Jagger Collector. Like, subscribe, let's hit a thousand subscribers before the new year because then then we're gonna get in the big leagues, boys. We're gonna we're going up. We're only going up from here. But please like, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video, which should be an action figure, which probably shocked all of you. But until then, I will see you then. I'm a bounty hunter. I'm gonna kill Kenobi. No, I'm gonna get killed in ten seconds. Ugh. You just watched a 13-minute video about a droid that was in a show for 10 minutes.